Happy Monday, everyone. Groomers take. New York Islanders Tampa Bay started yesterday. Islanders pull out a 2-1 victory. It was a weird game. It was kind of ugly to me. Tampa Bay completely dominated the first 10 minutes of the game. And then the rest of that period, the whole second period, and for me, most of the third, I thought the Islanders were the better hockey team, and they held on for a win. Very interested to see what this series is going to be like. You're going to have the try and shut down power of the New York Islanders and their defense. I mean, man, they just they just get it done. But I, I, again, in the end, I think Tampa's going to win this thing. I think they'll find it. They'll find it eventually. They always do. Um, but that 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 game was weird to me. Um, uh, but hey, the Islanders have been doing it this whole time, so who says it doesn't work this time? You never know. You never know. Um, tonight, Montreal Vegas starts. Uh, quick take on that. How is it even possible to figure out what's going to happen with the Montreal Canadiens? They've been doing it all playoffs. Um, I think Vegas should win, but I've said that to the two previous series. Not so much the Winnipeg one, because, uh, you know, I don't know. But uh, Montreal's kind of rolling right now, so let's see. Game one's tonight. I'm really excited. Basketball playoffs. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky second round is going on right now. Very not tuned into it whatsoever. But Brooklyn and Milwaukee, just like that, tied up at 2-2. Uh, no Kyrie and no Harden for game five. Uh, Kyrie with the ankle twist. That looked kind of gross. So that's an ankle sprain. This isn't even a fake injury thing that uh, you know some basketball players do, or even like Kyrie does. I've seen it before. I swear I've seen it before. But this is a real injury, and this isn't good for the Brooklyn Nets. If you don't have Kyrie and you don't have Harden, you can just put four players on Kevin Durant, and you'll probably still win the basketball game. Um, yep. Yeah, so no game five there. It'll be interesting because you know I don't think so. I don't think they're gonna pass Milwaukee without those two guys. Sorry to say, and I had Brooklyn winning the championship, but without them, it's over. Phoenix, Denver, holy smokes, the Phoenix Suns. I'm not going to say I'm a Phoenix Suns guy, but I like to watch teams go through a rebuild, no matter what sport it is, and especially with basketball. I'm not a guy that watches a lot of basketball. I do like to follow it, as a lot of us do, and it was kind of fun to watch the Phoenix Suns build with Aiton, with Booker, and for many years you thought, could this be the next step? But now they have CP3, this looks like it is the step. They absolutely cruise to a 4 nothing series win. Uh, very exciting team to watch right now. And exciting to watch them in the third round. Philly, Atlanta. Uh, again, uh, Joel Embiid right now is something to talk about. It's very exciting. I have a lot of respect for Atlanta. I'm surprised they've won one game already. Um, but I think the Sixers should roll the next two games and probably win the series 4-1. Um, oh, something I missed out on with this Denver game, the last Denver game, and the Jokic ejection. What is going on with sports? What is going on? It's soft. How is that a flagrant two, right? That's what you call it. How is that an ejection? It's a hard foul. I just, I mean, hey, again, not a basketball guy. You can tell me a lot more. But uh, I just, I don't get it. I don't see it. Uh, Utah and the Clippers. The Clippers are so weird to me. It's like a roller coaster. You don't know what you're going to get. Uh, playoff P there. He had a great game too, I believe it was. But hey, Utah's up 2-1 now. I have no idea what this is, what, which way this series is going to go. Um, but hey, when you have Kawhi, you have Kawhi. And that's, uh, I could you know, kind of turn the tables for you. <clears throat> A little sore throat today. Uh, George Glant, let's go, more hockey. George Glant reportedly hired by the New York Rangers today. Love it. He should have had a job last season or whatever. George Glant, George Glant should have a job and the Rangers are a perfect fit for him. They're a team on the rise. Now they got a coach. I like it a lot. Dougie Hamilton to test the market, given permission from the Hurricanes. Uh, I guess that means he was an, he's an RFA. I don't know. But I don't think the Hurricanes will be bringing him back. I don't think they can afford it. Dougie Hamilton, to me, is a top-tier defenseman in the NHL. Uh, top one, two, three, four max for sure. Um, and he's going to get paid. So Toronto Maple Leafs trade Morgan Riley. Uh, Kerfoot maybe goes to Seattle. Uh, there's some more money. You sign Dougie Hamilton. Boom. Done. Just like that. Easy peasy. Uh, Vladdy Jr. leads the leads the MLB in all-star votes right now. That's pretty cool. 
Vladdy's fun to watch. The Jays are fun to watch. Eight homers in yesterday's game against Boston. 18-4 final. Ouch. Shout out to my buddy Blair. Um, but hey, the Jays are finding that they can hit now. So, and that's without George Springer, right? Very weird to see. Very weird. Uh, but awesome. Let's get this rotation going. It's a, it's a hit and miss rotation to me. Um, let's get some money in it. But hey, this season is this season. Let's go Blue Jays. CFL confirms a 14 game season. 14 games seems really great for the CFL. It's gonna start August 5. Glad to have the CFL back. I'm not a CFL guy, but if you are, this is exciting. And hey, I'm happy for the players and the owners. The players get to come back and play the game they love. Uh, you know, they missed out this last year, so shut up. And we gotta get out of here on this. Christian Eriksen, the uh, Denmark uh, soccer player who collapsed the other day. Very scary scene, uh, but he's he's breathing on his own. He's, he's in good spirits. Um, scary scene, job well done by everyone involved. I do question why the heck they needed to complete that game. I know there's probably a lot of logistics. It's a big, huge tournament, but the dude did leave us for a couple minutes there until he was revived. So, I don't know. It is what it is. Glad he's healthy. Don't see why you had to finish that game. But hey, the tournament moves on and he's healthy. Shout out to Christian Erickson. All right. Adam Groom, Groomer's Take. See you later.